The other lizard, apart from the Toka gecko, commonly found in Balinese homes is the Cosmbotus platyurus, or common house gecko, commonly known in Bali as the chicha. These are jolly little fellows who congregate around light sources in the evening and await the myriad species of small insects which are drawn to the flame. They are incredibly prolific in number and one can often count upwards of a dozen in a single room. They help with houses of mosquitoes and termites, and apart from small, smelly deposits, there is little trace of their presence apart from their comic nocturnal scurrying. They share the same sticky feet with their larger cousins, the physics of which is astonishing, relying on van der Waals forces of weak intermolecular attraction. Another technology found in the common house gecko is a result of its automatic facility, its ability to shed its tail when severely threatened. This wouldn't be useful unless trapped by the arm under a rock, but the ability of this tiny animal, so common in Bali villas, to regenerate its tail could lead to treatments for all manner of degenerative and amputative conditions. If scientists can isolate the gene responsible for regeneration, then one day, maybe, we'll be able to grow back severed limbs or even add extra ones. Until then, it's an interesting thought. Next time you're lying on your sofa in a villa and watching the funny little creatures chasing each other across the ceiling above your head, remember that they might hold the key to the future of happiness of mankind.